Tonight. Hello, I am here today to talk to you about the possibility of a new nuclear reactor in Indiana. Now, I know a lot of people are afraid of nuclear reactors, afraid of what they can do, afraid of the potential harm. I am here to separate facts from fiction here today for you. Now, a lot of people don't really know how they work, and I've done some research on the subject, so I'll explain to you. Get out of the background! I don't know I will explain stuff. to you the basics of how it works. A nuclear reactor, in all reality, is just a giant steam engine. The reaction provides the heat, the heat will heat water, water will turn to steam, steam will go turn to generator. So yeah, giant steam engine. Now, a lot of people think that they're very dangerous. Not so if you have a properly trained maintenance and work crew. And guess what? We have a lot of them. Now, people are afraid of meltdowns. Again, meltdowns can be controlled by a properly trained work crew who know what they're doing. Get out of the back of the video. Who know what they're doing and what to do. If you're afraid that someone will try to blow it up for a terrorist... You're going to be on YouTube. Hey, y'all. People are afraid that terrorist attack may blow it up. These places are normally guarded by security forces who are dedicated to guarding the thing, the reactor. Now, a lot of you know of Three Mile Island. You consider that a very big disaster. In reality, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Because there was no radioactive fallout lost, so none of the area around it was contaminated except for the reactor complex itself. Now, another misconception about nuclear reactors, when it goes critical, it's going to blow up. That is wrong. In every movie that you see, where someone's shouting, THE REACTOR HAS GONE CRITICAL! or something along those lines, that basically means that it started to do what they want it to do. When it goes critical, it starts producing the power and energy that it wants to on the scale they want it to. So every time they shut down a reactor after it goes critical, they're basically, it's essentially, is, oh god, the reactor's doing it what we want to, stop that right now. Thank you for listening to me speak to you today, and I do hope that you will continue to support the building of the reactor in Fort Wayne. Thank you.